What's up guys, welcome back. I'm actually on a road trip right now in North Carolina and I was heading towards Cape Hatteras Lighthouse to take some night photos, but unfortunately they were turning people around unless you were a resident or you had a work permit to go onto the island. Uh, I did not have that and they weren't gonna give me one just to take pictures. So unfortunately I had to go scramble and figure out a backup plan. And I came across this place called McKay Wildlife Refuge and the night sky should be relatively dark here. So um, I'm waiting for the skies to clear up, which they're starting to do. And I'm actually doing a time lapse over there, testing out some new gear. I have the new Nikon 20 millimeter 1.8 S lens. So I want to test that out and see how well it handles photographing the stars. And I want to see how sharp it is at 1.8 and how well it handles coma. And I'm also still doing more tests with the remote trigger by a uh, foolography. It's called Unleashed and I did the review last week. It's a really cool product and I want to do some more night to day transitions. So hopefully I could do a Milky Way to sunrise time lapse on this trip and see how well that turns out. So that's the game plan so far. And tomorrow I actually might go to Virginia um, and try and photograph some Milky Way shots along the beach since it's supposed to be clear again. And uh, we'll see how that goes. And I still have to figure out where I'm going to go and make sure that there's no restrictions or anything like that. So that's the game plan. Now I'm gonna go cook up some food. I'm really hungry. I've been driving all day and I'll touch base with you guys as uh, this trip progresses. All right, so I know it's not the healthiest, but when you haven't eaten all day, spaghetti and meatballs from the can is freaking amazing. And uh, it's cheap, so that's what we're eating tonight. So I'm at the Great Marsh Trail, and this is what I plan on photographing tonight. Um, hopefully it's not too buggy. I'm hoping it actually gets a little colder tonight to keep the mosquitoes down. But uh, it's stagnant water, which will be good. I could get some Milky Way reflections, hopefully, as long as the wind doesn't pick up later tonight. And uh, I plan on setting up two cameras, one in this area. I know it's hard to see. And then... This continues on a little bit further. The composition is gonna look a little similar, but um, you know, I, I, it is what it is. This is uh, what I found in this particular area that I think will work pretty nicely. Now it is kind of a major road, so I'm hoping the traffic dies down a little bit. And the good thing is I should have these bushes and trees as cover, so it shouldn't really mess up my exposures too much. But the bad thing is the lights might hit trees right here so I might get some flickering on these trees when doing the time lapse so that's the only downside um, we'll see how it goes but I'm actually gonna try and take a nap and then wake up around midnight and set up the cameras and let them just go to sunrise and um, yeah so I'm gonna get the cameras ready right now on the tripod and just have them ready to go so when I set my alarm for midnight I get up just run out here set them up and then maybe try and take another power nap so let's uh, set these cameras up. All right, so I have my two cameras set up that I'm gonna be using for tonight. Right here is the Nikon Z6 with the new 20 millimeter 1.8 S lens. And I have 
my unleash unit plugged into that and that's going to be firing one time lapse and then uh, I also have the extended battery clip for that too just in case I need it because I plan on shooting for probably around five hours four to five hours over here we have the Nikon D810 with my 14 and 24 um, yes I still use this camera and love this camera just as much as I love my new my new Nikon Z cameras but um, this thing still works fine so I'm still gonna use it and yeah that's what we're shooting with tonight for the time lapses Good morning everybody last night turned out pretty good I had clear skies but there was a lot of mist and dew in the air so I had to use this protege warming strap around my Nikon 20 millimeter 1.8 s lens which worked out really well and there was no dew formation on it although my Nikon da 10 with the 14 millimeter lens that big uh, front bulbous element that it's really hard to keep the dew off of that so even though I used um, a hand warmer it just wasn't enough I probably needed to use two but I only use one so halfway through the time lapse it ended up forming dew on the lens and it was soaking wet uh, but it is what it is I'll just salvage what I can from it and uh, make the best of it. it it happens maybe I'll have to pick up another one of these straps which seems to work out really well as far as the Milky Way last night, it was still better than New Jersey. Even though it wasn't in the darkest area in North Carolina, it was pretty nice. Um, I'll show you guys pictures, obviously, in this vlog and the time lapse so you can see. And I'm pretty happy to have captured it in a spot that isn't really well known. So not too many people have photographed the Milky Way from this particular location. So I like to get something unique that hasn't been done before. And I'm pretty sure the photos that I got last night haven't been shot here before at night so um, that'll be a first and that's awesome for today's agenda I'm actually waiting for the sunrise and I might fly the drone for a little bit and then I'm gonna head towards um, like Virginia Beach area there's this place called Sandbridge Beach and south of that is another wildlife refuge it's called Back Bay National Wildlife Refuge I believe and hopefully it should be dark enough for me to capture the Milky Way there as well uh, again it's not gonna be the best spot but it should be dark enough to get some decent Milky Way shots anything outside of New Jersey for me is is usually a lot better so um, I'm not too worried about that and I'll just have to go hunting for a composition today I checked the weather it's supposed to be clear again tonight and then after that it's gonna get cloudy so this will probably be my last night shooting the Milky Way and so far I'm really loving the 20 millimeter 1.8 s lens it's really sharp uh, from what I could tell on the back of the LCD screen so I can't wait to get back home and check those pictures out uh, on the on my computer screen and at full resolution I was shooting with it on the Z6 last night so today I might put it on the Z7 and that way I could just get more resolution and see how that looks as well uh, unfortunately the time-lapse I want to do where I transitioned from the Milky Way into a sunrise from this location didn't work out too well because I ended up running out of battery life even though I had the battery pack in the Z6 I started around 1230 and um, it kind of crapped out around five ish um, so it didn't last long enough for me to get a, a nice sunrise so I might try this again but I'll have to start it when the Milky Way is already out for a little bit so maybe around uh, 2 30 3 o'clock and then I'll let it go to sunrise um, just because I don't have enough batteries at the moment to constantly change out the battery pack I mean the one good thing about it is you can take out a dead battery replace it and while it's still running so um, that's a really cool feature I just don't have enough so one day I will uh, maybe do like an all-nighter and just change out the batteries constantly and let it go but um, I don't have that on this trip so I'm just gonna do what I can and make the best of it. And uh, yeah, I'm really tired. I'm gonna try and take a power nap when I get to the other location during the day. And then uh, I should be nice and awake for nighttime.
Some really dark clouds rolled in. They're not gonna be here long. I really want to do a time lapse of them because they're just so ominous and they're passing by really quickly. So doing a time lapse right here. I had to lean it up against this railing as a fourth point of contact because it's so windy. So this is going to help prevent some of that camera shake. And I also kept it really low. That's the key when you're dealing with a lot of wind is to keep your camera um, and your tripod really low. Don't extend the center column of your tripod either. And that will help with uh, preventing vibration. It's starting to drizzle a little bit. Hopefully it doesn't land on my, um, hopefully it doesn't land on the filter, but if it does, I'll have to just Photoshop out those water spots. All right, catch back with you guys later. So last night cleared up quite nicely. There wasn't any mist or dew issues like I had the previous night, although it was really windy. So I wasn't able to record with the GoPro because the microphone would just picked up a bunch of wind noise and uh, you wouldn't be able to hear me. So I ended up just focusing on a couple different compositions and then testing out the 20 millimeter 1.8 S lens some more. And I also did, um, another test with the unleashed remote where i started a time lapse around four in the morning so there's still stars out and then i let it go until sunrise which was around 6 30 a.m so um i'll have a time lapse on that and what's actually really cool about this is you could put in the auto ramp settings and uh your you know your exposure for the daytime and nighttime and even though i walked away with my phone and i lost connection with the unleashed it still continued to auto ramp because I went back to the van and I took a little power nap and then I came back and um, the exposure was changing as the light was changing. So it's a really good feature that this thing will automatically change and do what it's supposed to do even if your phone loses connection. So that's a great feature. So I'll show you guys that auto ramp in this video. So I think for today I'm gonna head home and wrap things up and what's really cool is I was able to find these two locations that I don't think have been photographed that much before. So I should have something new to show people that hasn't been seen before. So that's always a cool feeling to find something um, and photograph it and be the first person to do that. So uh, I'll show those photos and yeah, I'm gonna wrap this up, finish up my breakfast and head home. Take care. <laughs>